Hi everyone, today I'm coming to you from indoors with a drill that I've been doing lately that's helped me to shallow the club better in the first stages of the downswing. Historically, from the top of the backswing position, I've had a tendency to get that shaft to stand up a little bit and the face to be a little bit more open than I want. So just to be very precise, this is from the top of the backswing position to about that position there, when let's just say hands are around torso high. So we're coming into the delivery position, okay? So let's have a look from face on. And I just wanna go over a few key points in the body motion, at least the club and the face being in that position. So if I go to the top and I make that same, let's just say the pattern that I don't want to, the pattern I want to work away from that stands the shaft up, and I get here, I can feel a lot of pressure in that left heel really early in the downswing. I, if I use my club as a reference for the rotation of my pelvis, you can see it's aimed out quite away in front of the ruler here, which is referencing ball position. So if the target was 12 p.m., my pelvis with this rehearsal is at, is at, is at about 2 p.m. So I'm, I'm getting open a lot sooner than I would like to in the downswing. From down the line, when I do it, you can see if there was a wall behind me, I'd be moving off that wall. So we're gonna use this wall to reference that thrust. If we stand about 10 inches from the wall, I'm gonna set the ruler as my ball position here as well. And I go to the top. I am going to try and get my right butt cheek to touch the wall. And at the same time, I'm gonna try and get the club head to touch the wall. And at first it can be a bit tricky, but then after a while, you can start getting a real good sense of how much deeper you can be in this right hip or how much deeper the right you, you can be with your pelvis. And then a real good sense of like the feel there of how you have to work in this area to keep the club on the wall. One little addition that I've made to that is for the face, is that while the club's working down the wall, I like the, the sense of the toe working down so when I get down into this position here, the, t the face is nicely matched up and I feel like I can rotate quite nicely through it, okay? So to reference the stuff from before as well, in this position here now, I feel a lot of pressure under my right foot, right under the center of my arch in my right foot. Pelvis position is now, from a rotation standpoint, is a good way behind the, uh, the ruler. And from a thrust position, obviously, now I can feel the wall. So from there, I've not moved into it. I've got all that space that I was talking about. That's worked out really well for me. If you do get the shaft standing up in transition or you feel like you don't have much space moving through the shot, give this drill a go and then go to the golf course and try and take some of those feels and sensations into your shots.